Hey guys, this is E with Scrapbooking with Me, and today we're going to do a four-way twist card photo display. So this is a little bit different, it's a little bit more involved, but it's not hard to make at all. You're going to need one sheet of seven and a half by seven and a half inch paper cardstock, and then one sheet of designer paper to put on top, whatever you would like to, to use. That is seven and a quarter by seven and a quarter. So that's going to go just like that. And I'm just going to use my ATG gun to put this down. This is just some older paper scraps that I had. So just center that in the middle. So there you've got your base. And now you're going to need four pieces of cardstock that are six and a quarter by three and one eighth. We're going to do a little bit of scoring on these. You're going to put it in your scoreboard on the long side. We're going to score at three and one eighth. So that is scoring in the middle, in the center. So you're going to do that to all four of them, three and one eighth. So we have all of those done. We'll go ahead and fold and burnish our score lines. Right, and now you're going to open them back up and you're going to take your ruler and on from this where the score line came out right there down to this point we're going to score that. We're going to make a triangle on here. So from that score line down to this triangle score right down the center of that square. So all we did Let's make that square into a triangle, just like that. You're going to do two of them the same way. So in other words, you're going to come from this score line right here down to that point. So we've got two that are this way, and then we're going to do the other two the opposite so like these are from this score line down here. This one we're going to do from this point down to that score line. Okay. So from this point down to the score line. So you're halving it just like you did the other, but you've got, see this one, you see? That's what you have. Okay, so do two one way, two the other way. So we're going to come from that point down to that score line. Just like that. So go ahead and fold these and burnish them. And I always try to go on the back side to just make sure that I've got my line drawn straight as possible this needs to be really straight. Now we're going to need a few mats and these mats are cut at two and seven eighths by two and seven eighths and we're going to put those right there so you need to cut four of these mats. Alright, you can lay those aside for a moment. And now you're going to need four pieces of a solid cardstock, and I'm just using the same cardstock as I did for the base, that are cut at three and one eighth by three and one eighth. So we've got those. And then the mats that go on those are cut at two and seven eighths by two and seven eighths. So we're going to mat each one of these. And I just chose a paper that had some of the same colors in it. Okay, you have all four of those matted. Alright, now what you want to do is take these that you just made and you're going to glue them on this part right here. 
So you're going to leave that folded and make sure that it's folded to the point where this shows. Take this, line it up with the edge, and you're going to glue that down right there. Just to that, just to this part right here. So that's the only place we're going to put our adhesive. If you are putting a directional paper on here, you just need to make sure that your direction is the right way. This will be your bottom and this will be your top. I don't use a directional on this just because I would end up putting it on upside down. So that's what it's going to look like right there. You see how that, you've got that twist. Okay, so you're going to do your other ones all four of them the same identical way. So we're going to make sure that it's folded where this shows. There's my fold. I'm going to put adhesive just on this little triangle. And then I am going to glue this down. Make it as straight as you possibly can. Alright, we have the other ones. So we're going to, these as you notice they come out this way and that's right. You need two going to the right and two going to your left. So you're going to put adhesive right there. One going this way, that's good. Always make sure that this faces up and then you'll know that this is your top. All right, there you go. So now you have two that are going like that, and then you have two are going like this. So we will be putting those on our base in just a moment and I will go over how. I'm going to clip my two that are to the left together and then clip my two that are to the right together. That way I can kind of keep track of what's what. Now what you want to do is mark your center and again if you have a Tim Holtz ruler you can put it on zero and just make sure that it's three and three quarters of an inch out each way. If you don't, just measure in from the edge three quarters of an inch and that should be your center. So we're going to put that right there. And then on either side of that center, mark one eighth of an inch. And then do the same thing at the bottom. Three and three quarters right there. And then we're going to mark one eighth on either side. And then we're just going to draw a light line all the way down, starting with our center first. Okay, and then you're going to do it on the opposite side. So we did it this way, we're going to do it across this way. This is just marking a spot where we're going to be able to put these down so that we can make sure we get them straight and they're not all lopsided. If you just want to put them down without marking anything, that is strictly up to you. I cannot get it straight if I don't mark it, so I will mark mine. Okay, there, right there, and there, and there. So all we did is mark the same thing. And then we're going to draw our line. Now when you start to glue these down, you're going to put glue right here on this solid part on the back. And you're going to line it up with 
one of your lines and just make sure that it goes straight on the other ones. So just like that. But then you're also going to make sure that this part right here opens up to the outside. So see we want it opening up this way and not opening up if we put it this way you see it would open up to the inside. We want it opening up just like that. You got that? So when you put it down on your line and you pull this up you want to make sure that it opens up with this facing out and facing this corner. Maybe that makes it a little bit easier. Make sure that each one of these panels faces this corner and then the next one will face this corner and then this one, this corner, that one, that corner. Maybe that will make it a little bit easier. So let's go ahead and put our adhesive on here. We'll start gluing these down. Okay, we want to make sure that this faces that corner and that we get it straight on the line that we drew. So we're going to put that down right there and right there. So there we go. We've got our first one down. Now you can go to your next one. Let's pick up one. And so if we put that one down that way and lift it up, it will face that corner. So that's good. That's the way we want it. So let's put some adhesive on this one. Put it right on the line, just like that, and press it down. So see that you have that one facing that corner when you lift it up. This one faces that corner when you lift it up. Okay, so let's lay those, those down. And we'll go to our next one. So that one looks like it's going to go right there. And then this one is going to go right over here. So let's glue these. Now I'm down. just going in and erasing my pencil lines. Using one of our new mono erasers that erases everything really well where you can't even see that it was ever there. Now when you lift these up, you have a photo display. As you can see and you can prop them up on each other if you want, like that one is propped up on that one. Or if you wanted to put something down here to catch them, you could do that too. But I think they're cute, just propped up like that. Now I have gone ahead and used my two inch scallop punch, that's two and a half inch scallop punch, and two inch circle punch and I've just punched out a couple of pieces and I'm going to put one of our magnets in here. Let's see. I'm going to glue that down and I'm going to use some art glitter glue on this because we want this to stick really well. This is the large magnets. We do have the small ones, but this is a large one. And we will put that down just like that to make it look like a little flower. Okay, so that will go right there. And then we're going to flip it over on the back while I'm holding that in the center, which is right there, I'm going to flip it over on the back and I'm going to put my magnet down there. That way I'll know that I have it in the right spot. Then we'll just take this backing off. And I am going to put this camera paper that comes from that same collection and scra another scrap on the back of that 
since this is going to be like a photo display. Press that down right there. And there we have it. Now you can go ahead and decorate these up even more if you want. I'm just going to put photos on these. So I'm not going to do a lot of decorating around them. I might put a little bit of something around once I get the photos on. So when you take your little flower off, then you can stand these up where they have your photos on them. Just like that. And they, most of them will stand up if you just prop them up against each other like that. You could put a little button there or a little enamel dot there or something just to make them stand up. So there is your photo display. And it can also be put in an envelope and mailed as a card. This will keep that closed. And that is all you have to do. Put your photos on here and send it to your recipient. Okay, guys, that is it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. And we will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.